Hello everyone, it's Benedict Simply Be Art and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my process with you. I did this uh, Japanese cherry blossom painting on a 30 by 40 centimeter canvas and I'm excited to share my steps so that you can also experience the joy of acrylic pouring and especially creating one of these beautiful, fun, absolutely stunning paintings, um, Japanese cherry blossom. So I hope you enjoy this short video and thank you for joining me again. So my colors um, for the, the tree trunk, I've chosen a black, a burnt umber, burnt sea henna and a sand. And then for the cherry blossoms, I've got a white base and I'm using a, a deep rose, a magenta, a pink as well as a flesh tint. And uh, some of these paints are local brands and I'll also list the colors as I go along. So I'm not going to be using all of the colors I've just set them aside and if I do need a particular color in that batch then I'm going to use that I've put all my colors it's pre-mixed with a glue and water pouring medium and I store them in squeeze bottles and I will be using the squeeze bottles in this video as well so the white has been mixed up to a dutch pour consistency which is one part paint two parts pouring medium and three quarters of a part water and even though I've mixed up 150 grams I've only used 100 grams on this canvas I spread it with a spatula very 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 thinly just covering the canvas and my sides with a white uh, base color so this is the uh, burnt umber I'm using this as the first color to lay down the uh, the trunk or the branches of this um, cherry blossom tree and um, I'm going to use a craft stick now to spread that paint um, and to create almost a the roughness of a of a tree of the bark of the tree so that's what the what the back and forth motion of that craft stick creates. It spreads the, the paint across the base layer. I'm able to move the paint with a craft stick so that there's no pooling of paint or um, the paint spreads quite a bit on the base layer. So the stick helps me to move it around and sort of create the cherry blossom uh, tree or bark of the tree it's got uh, very jagged uh, edges it's you know doesn't grow straight so full of curls and twirls and uh, little tiny twigs and so you use the craft stick to give you that effect so I've picked up a plastic palette knife and I've, I'm dipping it into some of the black paint and I'm creating the shadows on the on the tree now and uh, now you see me using the sand that color is called sand and I'm dipping the craft stick in the sand now and I'm creating the highlights on the on the trunk or the bark of the tree so um, this is my impression of a cherry blossom tree i started pouring or i started my pouring journey towards the end of 2017 and at that time i was watching a lot of sandra lit um, and Gemma 77 and sandra lit has been my inspiration for this painting so uh, for the cherry blossoms i'm going to be using a aquarium tubing i've got a long length so that i can reach over on the canvas without having to dip my chest in the paint 
and I've used the flesh tint first, dotted that on the on the base, and then above the flesh tint, I put a dot of the deep rose, and I'm blowing it out almost in a five petal formation. And now I'm using my a skewer stick to define those petals. So I'm pulling the skewer stick from the outside to the inside. You'll also see me doing that when I do blooms. I use a skewer stick to define petals. And so I do it with the cherry blossoms as well. But don't worry, I'm going to give you a close-up view very, very shortly. I'm just showing you how I lay down my, my petals, you know, choose where it needs to be and then follow the process. So this is your close-up view. I've already put down the flesh tint. You'll see I've dotted that. And now on top of the flesh tint, I dot the deep rows. And then I'm blowing it out, spreading the paint, blowing it with the tubing. And when I'm done blowing it out with the tubing, I will use the skewer stick to define the petals again. So there you see me using the skewer stick five petals pulling from the outside to the center and now I'm going to use the back of a plastic spoon and I'm going to dip that back of the plastic spoon right into the middle of those blossoms and what the plastic spoon does is it lifts up all of the excess paint that has settled in the middle of the petal but it also brings up the white that is underneath the base color. It pulls that base color through. So you have three colors in your blossoms. You have the flesh tint, you have the deep rose, and then you have that white popping through the center. So that's the final view. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.